Hello, welcome to the 214 par part of this course or the elementary education part of this course and this is chapter 1.1 part 1 and in this chapter or this part of the chapter we're going to discuss different bases and base 10 blocks. Now you may ask what are base 10 blocks? Well base 10 blocks can be used to represent things that are in powers of 10. So for example we start out with the units and a unit is the ones column or considered the ones and that would be one and that's the same thing as saying 10 to the zero as before was discussed in exponents anything to the zero power is one. The next we have are what are called rods and rods represent the tens place and 10 units make one rod. So we have 10 and that's the same thing as 10 to the first power. The next place we have are what's called flats and flats are the hundreds place and 10 rods make up one flat and one flat is made up of 100 units which is the same thing as saying 10 squared. And then finally we have the cubes which are the thousands and 10 flats make up one cube and 1000 units make up a cube which is the same thing as saying 10 third. Well we can't go any further than this since we can't really show hypercubes in physical space or certainly not in our three-dimensional physical space. So we usually end our understanding of the base 10 blocks here. So what I did was I set up our problem in terms of these rods and units. So here we have five rods, one, two, three, four, five, to represent each of the tens for 56, and then one, two, three, four, five, six units. So this is 56 using rods and unit boxes. I did the same thing with the 79, where we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, where this represents each of these is a 10, and seven times 10 is 70, and then nine units. So each rod is made up of 10 units. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two because that's what addition is about. So here I'll put some units here. And I'll just put the units here. Because I'm adding them up. And then I'll put the rods up here. Because again, I'm adding them up. Now, let's look at how many rods we have. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it turns out that 10 rods makes up one flat. So we can get rid of these rods, 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and replace them with one flat. So now we have one flat and two rods. Let's see how many units we have. Well, we have three, six, nine. Now remember, each of these rods is made up of ten units. So that means we have too many units here, so we have to replace 10 of them for a rod. So I'll get rid of 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I'll replace that. Oops. So we have the two rods from the original, and I'll replace the 10 that I just deleted with one rod. And now I'm left with one flat, which is equal to 100. So I'll put 100 for the one's place. And then I'm left with three rods, which is three times 10. And then I'm left with plus five units or ones. And then we put this all together and we end up with 135. And that is our final answer. But this is the way to organize it using the rods, the flats, and the units. Now reviewing what we just did, I'm adding 56, which is equal to 5 rods and 6 units. So here I have my 5 rods. and my six units and I'm going to add 79 which is seven rods and nine units and here we go nine units now we have seven plus six is fifteen units so we can trade ten units for one rod because we look at the units here like is explained in the whiteboard and we're going to take 10 of them and turn them into a rod so here we go and then that's one rod is equal to 10 units and here are so we can also trade 10 rods for one flat. So here we have a flat. So therefore, and we have three rods left over. So when we add, 56 plus 79 using base 10, 10 blocks, we get 135, which would be one flat, three rods, and five units. We have then 100 for the flat plus 30 from the rods, plus 5 from the units, and this will give us 135. One flat, plus 3 rods, plus 5 units, equals 135. In example number 3, we're going to look at subtracting blocks. And here we're going to subtract 21. We're going to subtract actually 8 from 21. And we're going to use the base 10 blocks. So let's go over to the whiteboard and see how I go do it on the whiteboard using um, a block to the block tool that I found online. In example number 3, we have 21, we start out with 21, and we want to subtract 8 from it. So what I did was is I drew 21 
in terms of tiles or blocks. So we have one rod, two rods that represent 20, because each of these is a tens. 10 plus 10 is 20, and then one unit. But we want to subtract 8 from that. Well, we can't just take away a rod because that's too big, and this unit is too small. So what we must do is we want, must convert one of the rods into units. So I'm going to turn a rod into 10 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Since each rod is worth 10 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now it's in a position where I can subtract 8 units from it. So I will subtract 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now I'm left with one rod, which is 10 for the tens place, and then three units for the ones place, which is 13. In reviewing what I just did on the whiteboard, I have 21, which is two rods and one unit, and then I'm going to subtract from it eight units. But in order to take eight blocks away, we need to change one of the rods from 21 to a 10 unit blocks as such. So one of these rods is made up of 10 units. So here's what I do. Here's my rod from the 21 and then 10 of these. These are my 10 units that I broke up and now I can take away eight of them. And here I take away eight. And I'm left with 13. So 21, two rods and a unit, minus eight units is equal to a rod and three units. So summarizing using base 10 blocks and subtracting with base 10 blocks. Subtracting in base, te base 10 is similar to addition because we are still trading in base 10. But now instead of gathering together 10 blocks and trading for one larger block, we trade for one larger block for 10 smaller ones. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit more about adding and subtracting with blocks. Thank you again and take care and be well. Bye.